Hello friends, I am Vinod Kumar Ashok Pradhan. In the last video of developing vocabulary, we have learned about how to form new words with the help of prefixes and suffixes. In this video, we are going to learn about confusing words, which are the confusing words and how to avoid the confusion while understanding them. So let us begin our journey. Hello friends. So let us start our journey about developing vocabulary part two. Friends, confusing words are the words in English. They look alike or sound alike. Means when these words are pronounced, we feel their pronunciation same. For example, if we utter the word already and all ready means we feel that the sound is alike but they have different meanings similarly these confusing words are often confused for each other while writing or while taking down any note means if the teacher tells you dictates you that i am in the suit so which kind of suit you are going to write here so if, whether it is s u i t or s u i t e so that you can understand only by the usage or the context now our vocabulary can be developed if we learn them and know perfect use of them so in this video we are going to learn about confusing words always remember about these words that to avoid confusion of such confusing words we should use dictionary to understand the usage of these confusing words we should consider their context and to make them perfect we should often use them while writing and speaking now let's have some examples of these confusing words these two words are often confused while writing or while listening even some people also speak these words in a wrong manner the first word accept or accept now let's have one example he accepted birthday gifts with gratitude in this sentence accept is a verb and it means to receive means he received birthday gifts with gratitude let us take another example when rohini travels she packs everything except the kitchen sink now the here except is a conjunction and it means apart from means this is a funny sentence when rohini travels she packs everything except the kitchen sink that means it is only the kitchen sink she leaves apart otherwise she takes everything in her purse or with her or in her bag now by this time you might have you might have understood the difference between accept and accept let us turn toward the next example lose and lose friends let us try this sentence did you lose your pain again now here the pain cannot be lose okay so it will be lost so did you lose your pen again in this sentence lose is a verb it means to become unable to find or fail or to win so here how it is how a pain can be felt here actually it means 
a particular country lost the match means xyz team lose the match so here lose means to fail to win they failed to win the match let us have another example of this pair i have spent 2000 rupees and now my shoes are loose now here the shoes are loose means they are now not tight here loose is an adjective so it means not tight so friends try to understand the difference between these two words lose and loose please give attention to the pronunciation of these two words it is lose and loose let's have another example next example is t h e i r there and t h e r e there friends these two words are always conf confused by the listeners now see context is very important now look at the sentence they are proud of their success now here success cannot be put there no so success is an idea that means it is invisible it you can experience it but you cannot touch it or touch it so in that way they are proud of t h e i r their success so here there is an adjective and it means of belonging to made or done by so they are proud of their success that means the success belongs to them okay success of them next please remove your footwear there only so in this sentence there indicates space so uh, or place there indicates place now um, here there is noun so it is that place or that point so you remove your footwear at that place or at that point so this is the basic difference between these two so the spellings are different but the pronunciation is alike so there and there okay let us turn towards the next example c i t e site s i g h t site and s i t e site let's have example of each of these words the author cited a famous quote in his story so here cited is verb already you might have observed this ed suffix to the root word so cited is a verb here which means to quote or a document so the auth the author quoted a famous quote in his story if in another way we are going to uh, use the or the replace if we are going to replace the word cited with quote okay so the author cited a famous quote in his story the next example is s i g h t the sight of a greenery makes our mood pleasant so here sight is a noun it means vision so the vision of a greenery makes our mood pleasant it's very simple to understand the next example of s i t e the site of our new house is surrounded by all amenities here site again s i t e site is also a noun which means position or place 
and not vision so friends by this time you might have quite understood very easily what is the basic difference between sight s i g h t sight and s i t sight let's do a turn towards the next example yes so these two words are often confused by the listeners here first i t s without apostrophe that dog is loyal to its master so loyal to its master so here its is a possessive pronoun and it means of or belonging to it so that dog is loyal to its master that means it is loyal to whom it is belonging belonging to it apostrophe s its it's a wonderful day here its with apostrophe mark is the contraction or short form of it is so when always remember that when there is its without apostrophe mark it is a possessive pronoun and where it is with apostrophe s means it is the short form of it is yes so this it's a wonderful day that means that place or point is so here you can understand very easily so friends here its it apostrophe s its means it is yes so by this time you might have understood that what is the difference between its without apostrophe and its without with apostrophe its with apostrophe now it would be very it would be very helpful for you to know the list of confusing words so see this addition and addition so addition means something that is added and addition means one in a series of printed material next advice and advise so note the basic difference between the pronunciation of the words and their spellings so when it is v i c e it is advice and when it is v i s e it is advise then affect and effect so affect means to influence something and effect means a result or to cause something to happen next one is allowed and allowed so allow double l o w means permitted to happen and allowed that means out loud loudly next one already and already so already means everyone is ready and already means before next r a r e o u r r and next here a r e r means plural of is and o u r r that is belongs to us so here this is the basic difference between these two words now next is beside and besides so b e s i d e without s means next to or opposite to and b e s i d e s besides means in addition next breath and breath so breath without e is air that you take in and b r e a t h e means with e is the action of taking in air 
Next word is b y b u y buy and b y buy. So b u y buy, you know very well. We buy some clothes, we buy some new thing. So it is to purchase something. And b y buy that means near. So I was sitting by the window. So buy b y buy means near. Next one is C H O O S E. Choose means to select and chose C H O S E is the party's past tense of C H O O S E. Choose. Next word is clothes and clothes and cloths. So often these words are confused. So C L O S E clothes means near or intimate friend, close friend. And C L O T H E S clothes means garment, uh, garments, and C L O T H cloths means pieces of fabric. So try to understand the basic difference between these three words, pronounced alike. Next is coerce and coarse. So C O A R S E coarse means rough. So if somebody is singing. Coarse. That means the voice is very rough. Then C O U R S E. This is very familiar to us. At as it is coarse means a direction or a path. Next, compliment. L E M E N T and L I M E N T is the basic difference. So, L E M E N T means to complete or make better. And L I M E N T that we receive compliments on our birthday, on a special day. Those are called L I M E N T compliment. Next one is conscience and conscious. So conscience, S C I E N C E means your inner or moral guide. Means when we are in trouble and when our Inner mind gives us some suggestion that is called our conscience, and conscious that means aware or awake. That means when we are sitting into a classroom and teacher is looking at us, that means we are aware of teachers, uh, teachers' attention towards us. Yes. So here is another list for you. You can download it online. You can also find it in the dictionary. You can also find in some good grammar book with their meanings, and you have to practice them daily. This is another list for you in which you can understand the words. Take, for example, the first word T W O two means number two. T W O two that is also or additional. And to to, which is a preposition indicating direct direction. Yes. So, friends, with this, I would like to remember you once more. Remind you once more. I would like to remind you once more that to avoid confusion of such words, we should use a good dictionary. Next, to understand the usage of these confusing words. We should consider their context, and finally, to make them perfect, we should often use them while writing and speaking day to day. To make them perfect, we should often use them while we are writing and we speak, and while. Speaking, so friends, with this, thank you very much for your patience. All the best for the practice of confusing words, and definitely we are going to meet in our next video um, with some interesting words. That is developing vocabulary part three. Thank you very much.